Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, have you ever had one of those days where <coughs> you're working and you know a package is being delivered to your house and it's killing you not to leave work early to go home and get that package or you're afraid, oh, God, the postman's going to knock on the door. There's no one's going to be there. So they're going to take it to the post office. And then by the time I get home, the post office is going to be closed. And then I'm going to have to go all night and try to get by there in the morning and this, that, and the other. And it's, it's, it, tonight is one of those days. Um, I actually worked a long day today, almost 13 hours, had a couple of meetings. But anyway, uh, it was one of those days where I knew I had something at home, which makes the day go so much longer. It's like a kid the night before uh, on Christmas Eve, they can't sleep. They're so excited about, you know, the morning and the presents and all that sort of thing. So anyway, so I get home today and the awesome part was I did have two deliveries. And the even better part than that was they were here. So one was left on the porch, the other one was left in the uh, in the mailbox itself. So anyway, I'm really excited about both of these. I'm going to open this one first, because uh, I'll show you guys real quick. I think you know this guy. So that's what's going to be coming out of that package. So we'll move that one to the side for now. Really excited about that one. You guys probably saw Jeff's video. So let's check out this one. This one's um, pretty cool as well. It's going to be my first one of these. I cut the boxes open already. I know some of you guys are like, you didn't use a knife to cut the box? Uh, yes, I did. I just didn't feel like you guys having to take a look at that. So always a good day when a Bill's case is involved. <coughs> I have several of these things, and every time I open them, there's always extreme nice goodies inside of these. So let's take a look and see what this is. So... Some of you guys may notice this particular logo. This will be a Shirogorov 95. Um, this one is in the actual all plain, and the only thing I'm not, you know, I'm a little disappointed is the clip on this, because Shirogorovs have these really cool clips. But um, from what I understand, this thing is a beast in general. So let's uh, let's give her a go. Prepared. And it fires extremely fast. There's a little bit of dirt on the blade. So, just the normal reflection blade. Sure, we're off. And the BG42 steel. Ran across this from a buddy of mine um, who was talking to this guy. This thing is really nice, actually. Uh, it's about a 50% lockup, somewhere right around in there. Stand also on the back. And Shergoros are known for their flipping abilities, dead center. I think I said dead nut center one time and somebody called me out. I was like, what the hell's dead nut center? Well, that's dead nut center right there. So, um, really cool. Fires out really well. Got some lock stick, obviously, which I wasn't told about. I mean, that is severe lock stick. Holy shit. I cannot undo this. There it goes. Wow, that is not good. So I think when you fire this thing hard, it sticks like crazy. Um, so hopefully that won't do that again. Uh, we'll have to figure something out with that. But anyway, um, I've been wanting to share Gorov. I've heard a lot of great things about him. Feels excellent in the hand. Really cool looking knife. I actually like this plain blade. I think this one's a little bit, or plain uh, scales. I think this one's a little, an older model. I want to say probably, not older, but 2009, 2010. Um, so that only stuck that once. It's really odd. I'm firing this thing pretty hard. It fires out good. So, anyway. Um, so we'll come back to this one in a little bit. A little bummed out on that lock. That thing stuck like crazy. All right, moving on to this. With this crazy guy here. Let's see how he packaged this. Looks like he gave me a dirty towel. And stuffed it in there pretty good. So I think he puts all his stuff in a towel. And then the moment we've all been waiting for. I don't think that's a, like a Tough Thumbs towel or anything. So let's check it out. And there you have it. 
just a really awesome Timascus. And then the uh, backspacer in Timascus as well. I don't know how well you can see it. The light's kind of crappy in here, but then they're just unbelievably nice and very smooth in the hand. So let's I didn't fire that well enough. Let's try that again. And what I told him is I talked to Jeff. Um, I got this in the Bowie or Persian style blade, whatever you whatever you guys are calling it nowadays. But I had him. It was uh, all in this like acid etched. Uh, tumbled stone wash kind of thing and, and I say it would be really cool if you polished it up not a lot just give it a little bit of a, a little bit of a, a, a softening up around the edge just to add some touch to it which I think looks a lot better um, it looks like you anodized the pivot and the polished uh, heart I mean um, hardware on it I guess it's polished to a certain extent but um he milled these out. I got pictures of this all along the way. It just looks really cool. And I had him polish the uh, the spine just on the top. So it adds a lot of dimension. This thing's pretty sharp too. So he did a decent job of sharpening. Uh, as he said earlier, lockup's at about 50% on this. But um, man, I tell you, this thing is awesome looking. Feels like really smooth. I mean, this is extremely smooth. Um, love the Timascus. I've this is my first Timascus piece and have been dying for Timascus. But uh this this tannic is made for me. Which is really as you guys know, I think I just can't get this to fire right. I um I think he said he added some type of lock bar insert in here. Yeah he did. As you can tell, he added a lock bar because it was uh overextending earlier. Uh, inwards basically locking too far and um, he wanted to add that in there just to give it some extra security with it so that's kind of cool he said it took him forever to do this but so I've got a tannic made for me not a tannic made for somebody else or that I picked up from somebody else this one is my tannic even though I think all Jeff's buddies have fondled it. I know Brian Dunn said he did. <laughs> I said, Brian, did you see my the tannic I'm getting? Oh yeah, I fondled it for about an hour. I said, I hope you washed your hands before you did it. Check that out. That's cool. He added a little, you can see on the edge of this pocket clip, he added a little bit of something to that, which I like. That's kind of cool. I like that looks really cool. So, um, when I first started talking with Jeff about what I wanted, I said, uh, you know, I, I thought about some moon glow because I'd like to have something with moon glow, which I'll have in the next day or two, but it's not a tannic, but, uh, I've got a Will Moon Mark VI coming. You guys probably saw that. It was on the, uh, it was on Instagram if you're friends with Will Moon or follow him. It's a, uh. Mark VI in the Hawkbill kind of, uh, I don't even know what you, I don't know if it's a Hawkbill or not, but <clears throat> it's kind of like that. So it's a prototype blade. Anytime something's like a one of a kind or a prototype, I always get suckered in. I can't control myself. So for some reason, I cannot get this to fire like Jeff did. Jeff was firing it out like crazy. But um, just a really smooth feeling. I mean, Jeff's been getting, I mean, I've gotten three, this is my third Tannic, and every one of them gets better and better from the fit and finish on it to how he contours around, um, the jimping he adds. He's just, uh, he's just getting really, really good. Once you guys get, I mean, I'm certain at some point everyone will possibly have their hands on a Tannic, but um, you're going to love it. I mean, as far as ergonomics go, it's one of the nicest feeling knives that I have. Actually, all three of them are. Um, the, the carbon fiber, the uh, the regular uh, Stealth, the one that, that was the auction blade. 
um, and then uh, this one now so really impressed with that so today's a pretty good day um, so we'll go with a Shore Goroff Model 95 let me polish this off real quick too this is pretty much guy calls me up and he had dropped it so I still wanted it so there you go there's today's uh, presents thank you guys for uh, hanging out dealing with me and my my videos I think we're up to gosh close to 350 subscribers which I'm just blown away by so I appreciate all your support um, I'd like to thank also um, new to knives Barry for uh, shouting me out on his channel, which was really, really cool. Um, he had actually asked me uh, or told me that he wanted to do that for me, which I thought was crazy. So I'm going to do a video as well uh, for someone that has more than me. And it's kind of a cool thing that we do to, you know, to introduce people that haven't seen other people's channels before that come up with some cool um, knives to show. And, it, you know, to me, it's all about just learning about people and getting to know people and I've met a lot of really cool people throughout um, just the last couple months of collecting and you know some really nice people that look out for you to try to find you I got a text from from uh, Brian Dunn last night about a knife that came up on the forums that uh, that I had mentioned to him that I was looking for and it's you know th that kind of stuff is just super cool he could have gone in there and taken it for himself but he didn't so if you guys are uh if you've ever heard about B Dunn or Brian Dunn, get over there and check his uh, channel out as well, along with Barry from uh, New to Knives, which he's not New to Knives anymore, so I think he's over a thousand subscribers now. So, anyway, thanks again, Barry. That was uh, super cool of you to do that for me. Um, it did definitely catapult me to uh, to a little bit higher subscriber uh, count, which is cool. I mean, the, the more people we can touch to keep the uh, community together, the better off we are. So. Anyway, guys, thanks a lot for watching. I'm um, excited about having my 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 own Tannic. Um, so hopefully one day everybody will have a chance to, to get one of these. So anyway, thanks a lot, guys. If you haven't subscribed, uh, please do so. If you'd like to share the channel with someone, that would be awesome, or, or just share this video just to get it out there for people to see. And, uh, and uh, like it and comment if, if there's anything that you guys uh, want to say about it. So anyway, thanks again, guys. I appreciate it. Take care.